Today on The Daily Dose, Operation Reunion. When the Soviets swept into Romania in late August 1944, the subsequent release of 1,162 captured Allied airmen sent a wave of optimism throughout the 15th Air Force in Italy, as well as a major morale boost for the American public back home. Operation Reunion stands to this day as one of the high-water feel-good moments of World War II. As the highest-ranking prisoner of war in Romania, Lieutenant Colonel James A. Gunn promptly received permission to organize the repatriation of Allied POWs to their British and Italian air bases. Gunn teamed up with Constantine Cantacuzino, a 38-year-old Romanian prince who commanded the 9th Fighter Group for the Romanian Air Force. Bazu, as he was known to his friends, cut a dashing figure with his movie star good looks and vibrant personality. Before the war, Bazu had captained the Romanian hockey team, broken an automobile speed record between Bucharest and Paris, and later won a national aerobatics championship that elevated him to superstar status in Romania. Adored by women, according to one of his friends, Bazou had his pick from countesses to cooks. With gun wedged into the cramped radio compartment of Bazou's German-built Messerschmitt 109, with American flags hastily painted on both sides of the fuselage, Bazou flew the pair into Gunn's home airbase at San Giovanni, Italy, delighting an audience of 15th Air Force personnel when the much-loved commanding officer emerged from the tiny single-seat fighter. 56 B-17s were mustered for the airlift of POWs, flying into Romania in three waves of 12 bombers each, timed to arrive in Bucharest at one-hour intervals. A total of 739 POWs were repatriated on August 31st, while the remaining 393 prisoners would fly home on September 1st, including 12 ambulatory patients on stretchers. The final stragglers who had evaded capture in Romania would be flown home on September 3rd, closing out Operation Reunion with a total of 59 fortress sorties, 94 lightning sorties, 281 Mustang sorties, and one C-47 sortie repatriating a total of 1,127 Americans, 31 British airmen, two Dutch naval officers, one French soldier, and a Romanian stowaway with shaky claims to American citizenship. Back at their respective bases, half-starved POWs slowly came back to life. And there you have it, a feel-good moment in World War II, today on The Daily Dose.